death, the eternal punishment for anyone who opens the mummy's casket. Hi beautiful weirdo, Charlotte here and welcome back to Pretty Scary. Now I just want to take a moment to acknowledge the bed head. Yes, I haven't had a shower today and I haven't done my hair because there's no point because I'm going to be covering myself in latex and putting all kinds of crap in my hair. So, but I do say to you this, that if you are going to a party, please shower beforehand just for the sake of those around you. And yeah, I'm just, you know, Keeping it real, keeping it real. Right, now today I'm filming another one of my 100 years of horror. And today it is 1932, The Mummy, Boris Karloff, legend of the horror scene back in those days. If you have been watching my 31 days of Halloween so far, you will know that in every single video, my misshapen bear Edward is hiding somewhere, either in the intro or in the tutorial itself, wearing a Halloween costume. So please comment below if you spot Edward and also what he's wearing. And I'm going to stick on some ghost stories and I'm going to make a start. First, you want to take some latex and some torn up toilet roll make sure it's single ply and pour out some latex and basically start dabbing that onto your face with a sponge make sure it's a sponge you can throw away because it will be ruined and then just kind of haphazardly scrunching the one ply of tissue onto your face and then using some more latex to stick it down now make sure that the edges of each of the pieces of tissue are kind of tattered because it's a dead giveaway if you've got straight lines that you've just got bog roll on your face. So yeah, make some expressions to wrinkle that up further because you are a mummified being that has been in a tomb for thousands and thousands of years. You can use a spatula to further wrinkle that up but you get the general gist. You'll see me doing exactly the same on my forehead. Again, using expressions to wrinkle up that tissue and then dabbing some more latex over the top. And for the rest of this portion, I am just going to speed it up because, well, you get the picture. Then I'm going to pause to create my mummified hairdo. So I'm just putting in tons and tons of conditioner, slicking it back, and put it in a low bun. Keep making those expressions to make sure that latex is really wrinkling up like the old mummy that you are. Now I just needed to build up just the kind of the skeletal look of the face so using a little bit of cotton wool and latex just build up that brow bone to get that really skull like appearance. You will do the same on the cheekbones and you'll see me doing that later on. So stick on a little bit of cotton wool with some latex and then put more latex over the top and just you know sculpt it a bit with your spatula doesn't need to be too smooth because you'll be putting more bog roll straight over the top. By the way, for the Americans listening, bog roll is toilet roll. Keep the same on the other side and then carry on with your tissue stuff. How 
add it down with some talc just to get rid of that shine and put the remainder in your hair to create that lovely old ancient thousand year old hair look. As previously discussed, you see me repeating the steps that I showed on the eyebrows to create the more skull-like appearance around the cheekbones. So cotton wool, latex, sculpt, and there you go, done. And now back to the loo roll, bog roll, tissue, toilet tissue, whatever you want to call it. And around the eyes, use some Duo Lash Glue. It has a little bit of latex in it, so it does the same kind of job, but it is safe around your eyes, unlike your normal liquid latex. So just apply some onto your lids and stick a small piece of glue roll over. And open and shut your eyes a few times to create those nice wrinkles. And then repeat the same under the eyes again with the Duo Lash Glue. you're happy with your level of mummification you can go on to colouring so first of all we're going to use a dark brown and a tan coloured water-based paint to colour all over the top to create that distressed look and then dabbing on top of that with a white now you don't want to mix too much water up with these because you don't want them to be too wet because they might lift the latex but we're using water-based rather than grease because it just helps to kind of dampen down that texture and make it look more fabric-like. And then taking a dark brown grease paint, we're going to start creating some dimension in this look. So first of all, dab it into the eye sockets to deepen those, and then under those cheekbones to sculpt those out. A little bit of mummy contouring going on. This just gives a little bit of dimension and a little bit of depth to the look bit more around those eyes and underneath those lovely brow bones and then using a fine brush just to sculpt out those details around the mouth and also around the lips. Any areas basically you feel need a little bit more definition and then it's costume time. This is the finished look. Um, as you can see, my costume is a little bit makeshift. I'm going to be filming the intro in black and white so it doesn't matter so much. But obviously, if you're wearing this to a party, you would want a proper load of bandages all wrapped around rather than just loo roll like I've done here. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe down below, hit the red button, and then you'll get all the notifications of all the amazing tutorials I've got coming up for the rest of October. And if you spotted Edward anywhere, say down in the comments below and also say what outfit he is wearing today. Love you all, thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. <sighs> Mummy kisses. Bye-bye.